Hello, today I'm sharing six things that transform my makeup, skin, and hair when I incorporate them into my beauty routine. I have three makeup products or techniques, one skincare and two hair care. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button before the end of this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into these products that make a huge difference for me when I do or do not incorporate them into my routine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the skincare product because I notice a huge difference when I do not or do use niacinamide in my skincare routine. Now the product I have here is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%, but my favorite niacinamide serum is Polish Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster. I'm just out of that right now. I find the texture to be a little bit better. It's a little more watery. It sinks into the skin a little bit better than the Ordinary and it mixes into other products easily as well. It's a personal preference. Your budget it may not dictate for that, so I have this option as well. I'll have all products that I show in the video listed below as well as some other options too. Niacinamide basically reduces inflammation, so it's great for those of us who have rosacea like myself, acne, eczema, any inflammatory skin condition. It also minimizes the look of pores and helps keep skin clear and smooth. But I can tell you that I notice a huge difference in how clear my skin stays and how small my pores look when I use this or when I don't use this. So this is a product that stays in my skincare routine no matter what, whether it's the Polish Choice or the Ordinary. I just always, always, always keep niacinamide in my routine. If you are someone who you know wants a little bit of pore refining if that's a concern for you and you're not using a niacinamide product I would definitely look into it. I just have noticed a huge difference when I do or don't use niacinamide. It stays in my skincare routine for sure. This next product may seem kind of weird, kind of trivial to put in this video, but I honestly think that using bronzer, whether it's cream, stick, or powder, makes such a huge difference and totally transforms my makeup. It gives such life to the face, and I don't mean applying it like it's contour. I mean applying it where the sun really hits you. It really does just liven up the face. It just gives some warmth and life to the face, whereas it might otherwise look kind of flat. I know there's some people that don't use bronzer, they're fine without it if they have that natural, beautiful coloring, but for me, my makeup is completely transformed. My look is completely transformed. I cannot not use bronzer in my routine. It's a staple for me. It makes a huge difference. And I'll have some options down below as well as my recent video that I did on my top bronzers. Quite often here on my channel, you'll hear me talk about beauty from within, beauty from the inside out. I just believe in taking supplements, drinking water, getting enough sleep. I mean, all of that contributes to how we look on the outside, right? So I did a video a while back on female hair loss and shedding, and I talked about my experience, and I talked about how the supplements from Kara Health helped me with that shedding. So since that video, Kara Health has come out with a 360 hair health plan or a hair care system that includes the supplements, a one month supply, you take two capsules a day. It also includes Follicle Hero shampoo and Follicle Hero conditioner and a scalp massager. I've been testing this behind the scenes for a couple months now to see if it works because I didn't want to agree to partner with them for products that didn't work for me. And I will say this portion of the video is in partnership with Kara Health because I've really been enjoying these and I have noticed a difference in my hair with using these. So both the shampoo and conditioner contain keratin, biotin, and coconut oil and they're supposed to nourish, strengthen, and densify the hair. It's got kind of a runny consistency, which normally I think is not gonna lather really well, but it actually does lather nicely and it smells good too. So does the conditioner, it smells really nice. Now you're supposed to put this on and massage with the scalp massager for a minute, which 
sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't because I would just forget. And then you leave it on for about five minutes. I would just leave it on while I proceeded with the rest of my shower. Now, my main concern when starting with this was that it was gonna be too heavy for my hair because my hair is very fine and thin, but it is good for all hair types. It does not weigh my hair down or make it feel heavy or gross or grimy or dirty in any way. So I've been using it daily or every other day. If I skip a day, it's been just fine. Now, after using it for a few weeks, I just started to notice that my hair seemed shiny and stronger in a way. I don't know how to explain it. It just had a little bit more elasticity to it than it did before. And I started noticing some, some new growth up here, which I thought I might be imagining. I don't know. That's where my hair is the finest. The clincher for me is, is that when I put my hair up in a ponytail, I always have to kind of worry about whether you can see my scalp through certain parts. So I kind of have to be a little bit strategic sometimes. And I haven't been really having to worry about that as much. I've just been able to put it up and go. So if I turn a certain way, you can see little sprigs of hair sticking out. That's not breakage, that's new growth that has happened over the past few months. And I'm just kind of surprised at that actually. So I would say, you know, the most important component is of course, you know, the supplements because that is from the inside out and that's what I always say. But I definitely think that stimulating, you know, the follicles, the scalp and all of that. It's just like, you know, doing stuff for your skin on your body. You kind of neglect it on your head and this healthcare system covers all of that that we kind of tend to neglect. So I've noticed less shedding, I've noticed more shine and more strength. I've really been enjoying it. The system was actually awarded best hair care system on the market by Birdie Magazine, which is something I learned recently. And I do also have a 10% code and a link down below if you do decide you wanna try it. I would love to hear after several weeks of use how it works for you, if it works for you like it, like it has for me. So if you are someone who has issues with your eyeliner, maybe transferring up to your eyelids sometimes throughout the day or having mascara transfer up to your brow bone, maybe you have some blending issues, getting your eyeshadow to blend properly, or you have eyeshadow longevity issues. It just won't last throughout the day. This one is for you. Using an eyeshadow primer and setting that eyeshadow primer with a translucent powder, not an eyeshadow. That does not work as well as setting it with a translucent powder. Think about how you set your face with a powder. You wanna do the same thing with your eyes. I have the Hourglass Veil Shadow Primer here. I have other options down below that you might enjoy. Now this is kind of a gripping type of primer, which is great for getting eyeshadow to adhere, but it doesn't make it easier for that eyeshadow to blend out. So if you have difficulty blending, if you top it with a translucent powder, you'll have such an easier time of blending things out. Just like our makeup lasts longer throughout the day, if we set our foundation with powder and then apply our color cosmetics on top, the same goes with our eyes. Your eyeshadow will last longer throughout the day, and you also won't have that grippy texture from your eyeshadow primer that will be gripping to your eyeliner and mascara throughout the day as well. So if you're not using a primer at all, that's the first step. You definitely wanna get a primer. It's gonna help you with all of those issues, but if you're using a primer and you're not setting it with translucent powder, you definitely wanna try that out because it makes a huge difference in the way my makeup applies and wears throughout the day. I have another hair product that I've mentioned before, I think in a favorites video, and I just love this so much. I, I could talk about it every month I feel like and never express the amount of love I have for this product. This is the Moroccan Oil Mending Infusion Repair. Please let me know if you use this product down below. <laughs> I feel like this is such a hidden gem that no one talks about. This is actually supposed to help seal split ends and you know it, it does that. It, it, it does that. That's not what I use it for. And that's not why my stylist gave it to me. She gave it to me because I was asking about flyaways. I always have flyaways, whether it's from new growth or whatever. But if you take just one pump of this and rub it in your fingers and apply it to your hair, it totally smooths down your flyaways. Now, if you have some new growth, you know, that new growth that just is totally straight and won't lay down, sometimes those are a little bit harder, but for the most part, if you have just kind of those stray frizzy flyaways, this will knock them out and it will never ever weigh your hair down or make it look wet. It is so, so good. This is the best product I've ever found to do this. I feel like other products have made my hair look 
wet or greasy, you can only apply a certain amount. I think I could apply this all day long and my hair would never ever look like I had product in it. It's this magical product. So this helps transform my hair from, you know, being all, you know, kind of fly away during the day, totally smooths it, makes it look nice and pretty. I can reapply later if I need, and it never looks like it's all gooped up with product. I love this stuff. If you have hooded lids, or if you're someone who just feels like you want a slight lift to the outer corners of your eyes, maybe you're getting a little bit older, Maybe you're not and you just want to lift. That's okay too. Now, if you have any of those things going on and you are not curling your lashes, it makes a huge difference. Huge. I don't think people understand, even if they have moderately curly lashes, I cannot get over the difference this little tool makes in opening up my eyes. My lashes just kind of point straight ahead. So if I have eye makeup on, and I either don't put mascara on or I do, but I don't use a lash curler, it looks the same because my lashes are pretty much on the same plane as my lash line. You just can't tell the difference. It just totally wakes up my face to use a lash curler. It is transformative. And I understand that some people just think it's too much trouble, but I think you will be so surprised at how big of a difference this can really make. It can make you look so much more awake than you actually feel. It can just give you a little bit of a lift that you didn't have before. I'm a huge proponent of the lash curler. I'd like to know one thing that helps transform your skin, hair, or makeup. Leave it for me in the comments down below. And if you didn't see my original video, the five things that transform my makeup, I did a couple of months back. I'll link that for you here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.